Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 21 of Let's Play Mario Luigi Partners in Time, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, do you notice anything missing about this room? No enemies! All it was was just a bunch of elite boom guys, and I cleared them out myself. Didn't gain a level though, which is very disappointing, because I would have liked to do that off camera, just in case I botched the bonuses. But alas, you'll have to see me botch them, or hell, I'll nail them! I mean, I've done it on camera many times. I just like to do that as much as possible to maximize my odds of success. The rest of the way. Oh dear God! I thought we were done. Let's go. I still learn how to deal with these guys, though, which is great. I haven't forgotten since the last video. Considering recording immediately after the last video. Bad if I forgot right away. <laughs> Attack Mario. I mean, you can tell if the uh, Sniffero is going to attack who during that dive attack. Like, if it's upside down, it's Luigi, but right side up, it's Mario. Be sure to remember that. Or if you don't care, just jump at the same time. Either way, it still works. Last, we're gonna win here. Like so. And get a bro flower. I don't think that's really that useful. Maybe it is. Who knows? We'll find out soon enough when we get an ultra drop. And two super drops. Why couldn't it just be one super drop and two ultra drops? First world problems in the Mario universe. Okay, how much more of this cave do we have to do? Oh, looks like we're very close to the end. You can just tell. But if I'm gonna save, or at least move on to a boss battle that's coming up, I wanna make sure that I'm at full health. Otherwise, I'm gonna have a bad time. So let's take care of that right away. At least we're all level 18. Now that's that's a pretty good level at this time. Green shells, nice. I don't think I'm at the point where I might need to level grind to ensure that I'll be okay. I mean, right now I can pretty much do just fine at this level. Of course, gradually gain levels at my own pace, but I don't have to force it so much. Wow. I was expecting a big door to open, but it's a little small opening. Okay. Okay, is there anything special here? Well, there's an item box. But what about this side? No? Alright. I guess we'll go in here. What can go wrong? Oh, PD! You might want to hide, man! It's not safe! He ate the box! That's not delicious, you know. It goes all over the place. Huh. Awesome. Oh, what do we do, man? What do we do? Eh? Yeah? This is not good. Just hide. Mario, be quiet! Where's the baby? Oh, why? No, no, don't eat him! He's not good! And baby Luigi's not crying! Oh, now he is. I'm guessing now's the time we're finally gonna battle. If only I still had Flood with me. How are we gonna do this? Hmm. Wow! Completely ruined that! Depending on how he's going to dive will determine which boulder is going to whom and in what order. In that case, I completely guessed wrong. Alright, so how are we gonna do this? It doesn't look like Pocket Chomp is gonna be a good idea since Petey Piranha technically is flying. 
So I'm gonna have to go with trampolines this time. Trampolines? Yeah, let's go with trampolines. Substantial damage, 194. Good one worse, I could have done nothing! <laughs> Which is likely out of the question at this point. So hopefully I don't want to take too much damage. Almost hit it too early there. Watch it that time. Not gonna get as much. 179? Still substantial. Okay, well I, I got that dive pattern memorized. But man, that's gonna be pretty bad for PD Piranha's head. I mean, aren't you gonna get brain damage from that? There's clearly no water there, and I don't think the sand is that soft for a landing. Whoop, whatever floats your boat, I guess. If you even have a boat. And if not, maybe I should consider getting one, PD. So I think that salt water is bad for you. Even if I don't get as much as I would like, I mean, doing this much damage is obviously very good at this point. And I got 18 trampolines left. Have fun, PD. Don't call his last name Williams. Former TNA wrestler. One of the best finisher finishers many years in a row, the Canadian Destroyer. Which is how I describe my pattern for intercourse. No, no, wait. 119, that's bad. Uh oh. Oh! I hit it too early that time. Ugh. Keep jumping. Jumping! Don't get sucked in! Beautiful. Okay, now this time we can't use the trampoline. Because you're not allowed to jump on this guy. If you do, you're gonna get hurt. So why don't we try bro flowers since we have been getting them. And this guy is a plant. Think about it. The common sense attack! Critical, 102. Hmm, maybe instead of the fire flower, let's get the pocket chops a try. No, no, wait! It just came to me when it was too late. Let's use the pocket chops. Oh, wait, I have to jump first. We hit it. Make sure the other brother hits it, too. Oh, man, I completely ruined that. Oh, Mario's gonna get hurt. But I guess that's one thing I hate about this series, is that you can get attacked multiple times in a row. I think it's time we should use the refreshing herbs. Because, Mario, I can't have you dizzy like this. Like, you can practically get attacked, like, three or four times in a single turn. But at least this move is easy to dodge, just keep tapping the jump button. Come on, man, you don't need three turns in a row! Just because you're underground, well, most of your body is, doesn't mean you get to play that card! You gotta be fair, man! Well, at least this move won't hurt us. Wow. It's good to be lucky sometimes. Maybe the ice flowers could be a good idea to lower stats. But I think I'm gonna pass on that and just instead just focus on the bro flowers. 
They're doing critical damage, why not? I'm only 105. What are you gonna do? Wow, all those somersaults, that's what it does. Oh, let's move again. Wow, jump way too early. Can't dodge it now. Can we? Nope, we didn't. Good. Okay, so I guess we can go back to using the trampolines. He's in this position, why not? Balance in the universe has been corrected again. We're using trampolines. Yeah. Trampoline! Trampoline! Tramp thingy! For bouncing! Bounce for great justice! Oh no! Did I get him? Because usually, if you miss completely, you've done enough damage to win. Baby Mario's at level 19, all right. You should get a fruit basket for that. You did great. That's not a fruit basket. That's just a bunch of melons. There's just nothing for you. That's what melons are. I went on that fruit tangent before in The Binding of Isaac, but we might as well go at it here too. Oh, the Cobalt Star Shard! Oh, and Kylie. You got the third Cobalt Star Shard! Awesome! Ow, ow, ow! I will have my noggin, but good! Oh, my camera's not broken! <laughs> Mario doesn't care. Hey! It's my Whisker Boys! Did you KO that overgrown veggie? Good deal! When that clown swallowed me down, I thought it was the big sleep for sure! So give, fellas! Did the big lug have that shard? Why, it's the bee's knees! Gaze at those sparkles long enough and you feel... Feel what? Yikes! It's inside that crystal! Someone was looking back at me, fellas! Hmm? Ooh. Haha! <laughs> I must be off my trolley. I need a quick snoozer. Um, preferably with, like, a shotgun to the face. Anyway, what gives, Whiskers? What are you going to do when you get all those baubles together? None of your business! You're quite the motley crew, but you make for gold copy, no doubt about that. Good as you boys are, though, this dame's got a lead that'll top anything you've ever done. Whoa, where'd you get that key? That's right. I glommed onto a little shrew property when the alien bobhead, boneheads grabbed me. Wait, how did you fit that thing inside ya? Ain't that a thing of beauty? I think it's the key to something inside the shrew mothership. Who knows what this beauty can do in the right keyhole? Um, that sounds horribly wrong. It's a mystery, all right. But you can bet your last mushroom it'll be a scoop to stop the presses, boys. What about Princess Peach? Huh? You want to know if I saw Princess Peach in that piranha plant's belly? Oh, yeah. Believe it, fellas. Princess Peach was in there. But when I got eight, she got spit out lickety split. Mama well, where'd she go? I was all set for an exclusive interview, too. Raspberries. I'm pretty sure she's still locked up in the cave somewhere. I suggest you fellas keep your peepers peeled for her. As for me, I'm going to try and put that key to use. Which means it's time for me to say so long. Good luck, Whiskers. Oh yeah, I owe you one. Well, by that, shouldn't you have just, I don't know, given me the key? <sighs> Whatever. I might as well save. Wait, if I could just use my hammer to break through that crack, why didn't I do that before? I could have gotten to the shop. I don't know why I never thought to do that. But... That's neither here nor there at this point. 
I feel like such a ding-dong not going through this in the first place. Just wow, Bonga. How did you miss this opportunity? Hey, I never promised you Major League Gaming, but I know people are going to get way too anal about it. Mario? Could, could it be? Is that you, Mario? Mario, help! Mario! Princess? Whatever it is, man, this might be our chance to save her! Let's do this. There you are. Wait, there's something attached to your face, I can just tell. Yeah! Wait, she actually looks better this way. And Luigi planks. Oh, I wanted to go back to see if I can check out the shop! Uh, I guess I'll have to do that another time. Oh, Calamity! How dare this fungus attach itself to our princess's beautiful visage! I dare say, I'm rather curious as to how the mushroom has affixed itself as well! What a cruel jest this is! I get the chance to meet the adult princess and curse this! I guess we'll just have to wait for it to rot and fall off! The shroom, I mean, not her face! Are you well, my dear? Oh no. Oh no, you've done it, you trumpeting old elephant! The young miss is weeping again! You know, when you listen to this baby crying, doesn't it make you want to say, Okay, pro-lifer is your move. No offense. A princess here, a princess there. No rest for me, I fear. What do you think you are, Mother Goose? Hey, the important thing is that the princess is safe. Come, princess. Why don't you lie down for a while? She seems a little too obedient. Maybe that's a good thing after all. But first, I might as well just go back to the caves so I can go check out the uh, friggin' shop. I mean, there's no reason for me not to be able to get to the shop in the first place. Might as well bring everybody in to witness what could have been much sooner. <laughs> Had it not been for my stupidity. Hey! This here's a secret Monty Mart for folks in the know! Check out all them items! Okay. What you got? Ooh, these are actually pretty good. You can even get Ultra Shrooms here for 32 coins. And red peppers and green peppers. Man, red peppers are 60 coins. You can get bro items here too. Copy flowers! Ooh, I'm gonna buy two. I've heard these things are very, very good. I'll test them out later, of course. And you got some gear. Oh my god, wait. Okay, dangerous slacks to do only one thing. Increase POW. I would consider getting these a big boost to my speed, my stash, and my attack power. But the drop defense so significantly... I kind of feel much better not buying this stuff. What about the badges? Temporarily increase attack power. When time runs out, you faint. Whoa. Ooh, man. These look very high risk. Okay, I didn't really see anything I wanted. But anyways, I'm going to stop the video here. In the next part, I'll meet you back at the uh, Mushroom Kingdom of the present. See where we need to go next. See ya.